You know why it's so important to have a renewed mind, a mind that thinks in the Word and the ways of God so that we can believe for the impossible? Because an unrenewed mind will back up every time. It will back up in worry. It will back up in anxiety. It backs up in fear and doubt and unbelief. It just backs up and sits down and doesn't have courage or faith to even ask or seek or knock. It takes faith to just believe God, that He hears our prayers, that He cares about what you care about, that you would even have courage to cast your cares on Him and believe that He picks them up and He will take care of what you care about. Oh God, I pray tonight, this day, that we would have courage to believe for more, that we would be as a child believing that you do care, that you hear our prayers, that you are able and want to take care of us as we need, as we desire, as you provide for all our needs, that we would believe for that. We would rest in what you promise. We would trust you for everything. God, help our unbelief. And we will determine to renew our minds in thinking in your ways, in your word. That's where a renewed mind comes from, from the word of God. And I tell people often, if you'll read uh, the first like three chapters in Matthew 5, 6, and 7, and Proverbs chapter 4, and James chapter 1. Let me just throw out those five chapters that if you will read and meditate and just think on those things, it will renew your mind and you will have a chance (laughs) to grow in faith and ask what you will in Jesus' name. Try it. Amen? Amen.